It turns out this isn't even the first time. So the court does find you, you to be a danger. A DDOT bus driver charged for a crash that killed a woman crossing the street in downtown Detroit as the judge reveals her shocking record behind the wheel. The judge in the case says Geraldine Johnson has been involved in seven crashes since 2018, and those involve both a bus and her personal car as well. Glad you're with us for Local 4 News at 5. I'm Devin Skillian. And I'm Christy McDonald in for Kimberly Gill. Johnson appeared in court to be arraigned late this afternoon for a deadly crash back on June 2nd. It happened at the corner of Griswold in Congress, right in the heart of downtown Detroit. So let's get to Sean Lay, who is live for us tonight. Sean, I mean seven, that number is troubling. That's exactly what the magistrate just said late today in court. Extremely troubling. Here's the crosswalk right here. You can see the crosswalk for pedestrians. And this was, she was in the middle of the crosswalk, the victim here. It's unclear. She had the right of way. The driver apparently running a stop sign, how she did not see this woman in the middle of the crosswalk and ran over her. This is this driver's second fatal accident behind the wheel of a bus. You mentioned a long list of accidents, either bus or personal vehicle revealed in court today. It's begging the question we're asking the city and we're asking DDOT, why was she allowed to drive a bus? She finds it quite troubling, but beyond that, the court sees that in 2015, <laughs> You were involved in a traffic crash resulting in a fatal injury. That there have been crashes either with a bus or your personal vehicle in 2018, two in 19, one in 20, one in 21, one in 22, and then we have this matter today. So the court does find you, you to be a danger. Stunning information coming from the late afternoon arraignment of DDOT bus driver Geraldine Johnson. She's facing criminal charges for a fatal accident June 2nd right in downtown Detroit. The prosecutor's office says Johnson literally ran over 67-year-old Janice Bauer, who was in a crosswalk and had the right of way. Johnson, in a DDOT bus, was making a turn, and police say she hit her. It is Johnson's second fatal accident behind the wheel of a DDOT bus. In 2015, a pedestrian named Joey Davis was hit and killed by a DDOT bus. The magistrate says the driver was Geraldine Johnson. We spoke with Davis's family back then. What was she doing? And like, was she on her phone? Was she not paying attention? I mean, the bus wasn't full. Back here live. So what happened after that 2015 fatal accident? DDOT tells us that Johnson was retrained and then put behind the wheel of a bus. She did not face criminal charges then. This time she is facing those criminal charges. We asked the city today. We're trying to ask DDOT with that driving record, including two fatals, why she was allowed to continue to drive a bus. No response yet. The city says there is an internal review ongoing. Christy Devin. Yeah, a lot of questions on that, Sean. But bond for Johnson was discussed in court late today. $100,000 personal bond. If she gets out on that bond, Christy, the magistrate said absolutely no driving of any vehicle. All right, we're going to follow it. Thanks so much, Sean.